Ja, det kan jag inte vara. Ja, det kan inte vara. Did you ever watch the Steven Robinson? Bob Gaming! Yeah. <laughs> <Right. laughs> we were, we were going, I went up to Ottawa this spring. We were going through <laughs> Zellers, <laughs> you know, it's all <laughs> whole store. <laughs> we were going on. Back up there? But I tell you, it's downtown good. Montreal. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah, midnight. Oh, yeah. Me? I, I, Everyone's got to stay up for midnight. Yeah, that's yeah, where the... I should have brought the... We had some earlier when we brought the lunch here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to listen to that, that Sam McGee there. Sam McGee. Yeah. Okay. Please. Okay. Is there any goddamn volume on it? Close the bulletin from your seat. Say look. Things done in the midnight oh, sun. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, look, it, it, it fixed you up. You better get it while your voice is talking. Oh, Sam, you don't know what to do. The Arctic Trails are their secret tale that makes your blood run cold. Cool. The North Ice, but the queerest you ever did see. Was oh. <laughs> 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 that I oh. it was Sam McGee. <laughs> now, Sam McGee was from Tennessee where the cotton blooms and blows. Why, that's his home, and then South Rome and the Poles, God only knows. He was always cold with the land of gold, seemed to hold him like a spell. He'd often say in his homely way that he'd sooner live in hell. Oh, yeah. On a Christmas day as we were mushing our way over the Dawson Trail, talk of your cold to the practice pole to stab like a driven nail. And for our eyes we closed and our lashes froze, so sometimes we could not see. It wasn't much fun, but the only one to whimper <laughs> was Sam <in> McGee. <the> <laughs> and fart. <laughs> And that very night we laid back tight in our rows beneath the snow with huskies fed and the stars overhead were dancing heel and toe. He turns to me and Cap says he, I'll cash in this trip I guess, and if I do I'm asking you that you won't refuse my last request. Well a friend's last knee is a thing to heed. Oh, I forget the rest. Well, I know the rest of it. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I don't remember the Something about his last request. His last request. Well, he seems so low that I couldn't say no, and he says with a sort of moan. Moan. It ain't been dead, it's my awful dread. It's the icy grave that pains. I want you to swear that foul or fair you cremate my last remains. What remains? Well, he seems so low that I couldn't say no. That boy's been a long time. Here we go. It's been a long time. You just get the ball rolling, it'll go. Yeah. Remains. Mm -hmm. My last remains. My friend's last name is a thing to heed, so I swore I would not fail. And we started on at the streak of dawn, but God, he looked ghastly pale. He sat in the sleigh and he raved all day. He was home in Tennessee. And before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There wasn't a breath in that land of death, so I hurried horror driven. But the course I have hid that I couldn't get rid because of the promise given. It was lashed to the sleigh and it seemed to say you may tax your brown and brains, but you promised true and it's up to you to cremate those last remains. When a promise made is a debt unpaid and the trail has its own stern code, in the days to come when my lips were down and my heart how I cursed that load. The long, long night by the lone firelight with the huskies round the ring, they held out the woes of the homeless snows in my heart how I loathed that thing. And every day that quiet clay seemed to heavy and heavier grow. But on I went till the dogs were spent and the grub was getting low. So I came on the marge of Lake Laverge, and there a derelict lay. It was jammed in the ice, but I saw in a trice it was called the Alice May. I looked at it and I thought a bit, and I felt my frozen bum. Uh, I looked at my face. <laughs> Don't look at that chum. Here I stand. Oh my god. Here I stand. That's guys, my crematorium. Oh my god, that's so funny. I tore from my cabin floor. And I lit the boiler fire. The coal I found that was lying around. I heaped the fuel up higher. If a flame just served, the furnace roared to the blaze you'd seldom see. And I bored a hole in the glowing coal and I stuffed it in my wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> Sam McGee! <laughs> you got to stop. <laughs> Sam McGee. <laughs> then I made a hike where I did not like to hear him so little so. And the heavens howled and the huskies scowled and the wind began to blow. It was icy cold, the hot sweat rolled down my cheeks and I don't know why. And the greasy smoke and a milky cloak went streaking down the sky. I do not know how long in the snow 
I wrestled with grizzly fear. I first came out and danced about. Ere again I ventured near. I was sick with dread, but I bravely said, I'll just take a peek inside. I guess he's cooked, and it's time I locked in the door I opened wide. Oh. And there sat Sam, looking calm and cool, in the heart of the furnace roar. He wore a smile, you could see him on, and he said, close that fucking door. <laughs> Flying in here, I greatly fear, you let in the cold and storm. It's the left plum tree down Tennessee. It's the first time I had a blowjob. <laughs> first time I ever been warm. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pull it over to you, pal. Stay in the phone. Stay in the phone. Leave your dad live there. All right. That was, that was great. I'd never seen it. That was great. Well, three years in Illinois. Let's roll. It's been done. Johnny rode his boat ashore. Due to circumstances beyond our control, the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition featuring the Swedish bikini team will not be seen at this time. In its place, we bring to you, live on location in Tay Valley, the Tay Valley T-Shirt Edition. <laughs> featuring our Tay Valley models, Kitty and Yolanda. So grab a beer as we present to you the Tay Valley T-Shirt Collection. Here we are at the bridge to nowhere. There were no shirts for the first three years, but during the third year, this place inspired the first ever Tay Valley shirt. The award of the fourth annual Tay Valley. Let's go down to the stream for a closer look. Anticipation is growing as we near the arrival of the very first Tay Valley t-shirt. I think I see something in the water. Yes, here they come now from the depths of the Tay Valley stream. What a sight. Drink and get right, Rip. Right, Thanks, Bill, for starting a great Tay Valley tradition. <laughs> Tay Valley 1986, 5th Annual. These shirts for Wambo, the big golf year. And on the back, the Tay Valley plant. The models will now take a break and play a game of Tay Valley golf with one of our resident ducks. Thank <laughs> you.